Leo, hey Mandy here, and today I wanted to share with you guys what came in my next rocks box. If I did not explain this clearly last time, I, I'm not sure if I did or not. Basically, you pay one monthly fee for rocks box, and then you can send your box back as many times as you want, whenever, to get new jewelry to rent. And I'm gonna go over what came in this box right here. So I sent the box that I shared in my last video back I think a day or two after I filmed that video and it was uploaded a few days after that so I can't, I don't know the exact dates but I think it took maybe a week, week and a half to get a new box and I should probably explain exactly what Rock's Box is. It is a subscription rental service so you pay the one monthly fee and you can rent jewelry and like I mentioned, you can send the box back as much as you want. You get a monthly credit um, of, I believe, $10 that you can use towards any of the jewelry if you want to keep it, if you choose to buy it, which is pretty cool. And yeah, this box, I think, is a little more my style. I really like it. Um, and let's just get to the pieces. Well, first let me tell you about the little pamphlet that was inside because I was actually pretty impressed with this. There's a little note on the inside and it actually references the reviews that I did on the website of each piece which is amazing. Hey Amanda, I saw you liked your last box but the ring was uncomfortable. Thank you for your helpful feedback. How awesome is that? So I just, I love that someone's actually paying attention to the things you write. Sometimes, like, with Ipsy and Birchbox, I know that beauty and not jewelry, but I felt like no one was paying attention to anything that you put in those reviews, like, at all. But, anyway, the first thing that came in this box was the Joanna SME Cutout Ring, by which is $35, but the insider price is $28, so it came in this little, um, I don't know, like, dusty purple pouch, and here's the ring. It's got, like, this little sideways square that cut out, and I don't know if you can see, but on the top and the bottom, there's, like, a little mark. I want to say it's the tiniest of all tiny little jewels of some sort, but... It just adds a little something special. I really like this. It fits on my ring finger, but not like my actual ring finger, really well. And I think it's really pretty. I like dainty rings like that. They're really cute. And the next thing that came was the Cameron Rose Lightning Bolt Charm Necklace. And that came in a baggie, in a baggie. So, there we go. And it's $78, but the insider price is $58. And I don't know if this is rose gold. No, I think it's just plain gold. And it's got that little gem right in the center of the lightning bolt. It's really cute. I, I quite like that. I don't know if I would pay $58. Just being honest, I don't know if I'd pay $58 for this. Just because I feel like if you took good care of it, you could probably get something similar from like a less expensive retail store from the mall. But it probably is made with really good materials. I'd have to actually look it up on the website. But it's really cute and I like it a lot. And it goes with the ring really nicely too, I think. And then the next thing I got was the House of Harlow 1960 Plateau Bar Studs in Gold. And it was a set of three studs. Retails for $25. The insider price is $20, which I thought was really good for House of Harlow. So here are the ones I'm not currently wearing. These cute little pyramid studs with gems on the side. And then I have these sort of teal ones, the square ones in my second hole. And then the bars with gems on my lower hole. Really cute. I like these a lot too. So I really like this box a lot. I think this is definitely a much better box than my first one. Not that that one was bad. It was just kind of getting used to things, I suppose. And I, I love it. I love it. I think this is a great box. I'm actually considering 
maybe purchasing the um, stud set in the ring. I don't know. Maybe one or the other. We'll see. But I'm going to enjoy wearing them for the next, I don't know, maybe week, week or so. And then I'm going to send them back and get another box. So be on the lookout for that video. Can't wait to share it with you. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but at the end of like my two-month trial period with Roxbox, I'll either do a video or a blog post kind of summarizing the whole experience, if I thought it was a good subscription, how I felt about it, etc. So definitely be on the lookout for that in about a month and a half or so as well. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!